What's up YouTube, it's Demo with Demo Vapes coming back at you with a final review of the Recoil Rebel by Grim Green and Ohmboy OC. Now, I have been using this for about two weeks non-stop since I last did my review video, or rather my first impressions video on YouTube. Uh, let's see, it was a couple weeks ago now. Uh, I took this with me to Florida and used it non-stop, tried to get as much ex exposure to this thing as possible without using other RDAs and other things that I really, really enjoy and I've already passed a verdict on. First of all, I haven't been doing this in my other review videos, but I do need to give you a disclaimer that I did purchase this product for the purpose of this review, and as such, it will absolutely affect my impressions of this product because I did buy it with my own money. If you watched the video from two weeks ago, you did see that I went over the build deck, took it all apart, showed you the AFC rings, and the eight, all the different top caps and whatnot. Talked a little bit about some small pros and cons I noticed right away, and we wrapped it up at that point. This video is gonna be giving a final impression on this product. First of all, I'd like to say that Grim Green and Omboy OC are two of the most influential people to me in the vapor world. Grim Green inspired me to become a YouTube vapor viewer, and Omboy OC's build videos on YouTube have been some of the ones that I've watched more than any of the other ones to attempt to make some of these more complicated builds. So, everything that I say, good or bad, that follows this, please, if you guys are watching, take this with a grain of salt. These are my honest first impressions. If I don't give my honest review, then I am worth nothing to the YouTube vape community. So, here are my pros and cons and my final impression. First of all, I really like the ease of build and wick on this. RDA. It's extremely easy to build and extremely easy to wick. If you're a new builder, absolutely phenomenal RDA to go out and pick up. Very easy to build. The original recoil was one of my first RDAs and as such it helped me a lot when I was first learning to build. The orientations of the post holes, how they're offset, make it really simple so you don't have to do any complicated bends or anything like that to line your leads up straight. So that's definitely a major pro for me. I think this is a really good looking RDA. It's very simple, very clean. I, there's not a whole lot of crazy things going on. Some of these other cheap Chinese atomizers have lots of crazy knurling and scallop cutouts and crazy things going on. This is really simple, brings it back to basics. Very nice, very nice to look at. The Ultim ring in here works as advertised. It really does keep you from leaking. If you guys watched my first impressions from two weeks ago, you will have seen that I did do a thorough test on the Ultim ring. I, I dripped a lot of juice down the center and tilted it to the side to really see if it worked as advertised, and it definitely does. It keeps it from leaking. I flooded the hell out of this deck before, and when I purged, nothing came out of the airflow holes. So that's a huge pro and is a huge deal, especially, again, for newer builders that may not be as up to snuff on the amount of juice to put in their RDA. And sadly, that ends my list of pros. I'm gonna start with my cons now. First of all, I don't think the O-ring tolerances on this particular one that I have are that great. The deck O-rings down here are not as tight as the O-ring is up here, so it makes adjusting this top cap really difficult. If you can see here, I'll try to adjust this, and I can't get any sort of purchase on this at all. These are lubed up. This this O-ring has juice on it, but I cannot get a purchase on that to adjust it if, if, if I could save my life with it. As such, that's definitely a con. I like to see strong O-rings down here at the base, a loose O-ring up here, and a strong drip drip O-ring. That is how I like my RDAs. You may like it differently. I like it that way. The Goon is a perfect example of absolutely perfect O-rings. The bottom ones are nice and strong. This O-ring is nice and loose to allow you to easily adjust your airflow and then the drip tip stays in there really nice and tight. My second con for this product is the drip tip tolerances. It was advertised to us that the drip tips that we had, our, our custom drip tips from DHD or Crispy Caps or any of those other ones, would fit. Sadly, that definitely does not seem to be the case and that really upsets me. This is a dock tip that was designed to fit on this recoil and it just is meaningless. I don't know what happened there. I don't know whether the tolerances got messed up in manufacturing or if they changed the tolerances, but I need this O-ring to fit tight because otherwise I can't use this drip tip as any sort of leverage to open this top cap off because as it stands, this is the snake bite airflow. As it stands, I just cannot barely get that top cap off without the o-ring practically not holding that drip tip on at all. In addition to the o-rings and the AFC cap, this o-ring right here on the snake bite airflow, this o-ring right here does not want to go down that well. If I line it up like that and just push, 
it squishes. It does not want to actually go on there. And so then when I do get it on there, I have to sort of twist it to get it to sit flat. It's just a mess. A subjective con, I think they should have made this 810 drip tip compatible. And I know Grim Green really wanted to keep the same drip tip availability. So if you owned a drip tip from the original recoil, you could use that drip tip here on this new version. But they could have included maybe even a, an adapter to put the recoil drip tip on if you so wanted to include that. But they didn't do that. And for some people, that will be a subjective con. For me, I have a lot of aftermarket drip tips, but the problem is, is that none of them fit. So <laughs> I, it's ridiculous to me. I, I can't use my aftermarket drip tips because they don't fit. Suggestion, I would love to see you guys come out with some beefy O-rings that we can pick up after the fact for a dollar or super cheap because the tolerances on this are unacceptably loose. That brings us to the weird con here with this airflow. And maybe it's not so much a con as it is just something that I don't quite understand. When I use the AFC ring, these bottom airflow holes work great. Nice and smooth and swooshy. Very nice, lots of airflow for me, but, ni but nice and smooth. Now, when I open this wide up, if I can do that, I can't even, I can't even open this up with the towel, man. Ugh, struggling. Okay, when I open this RDA wide open, it introduces quite a bit of turbulence for me. You, I'll see if you can hear that. Big clouds, very turbulent. Now, if you just use the top airflows alone, the turbulence is ridiculous. Here it is with just the top airflows open. No bottom airflow at all, just the top. I'm gonna lean in close so you guys can hear it. I don't honestly think any air is actually reaching the coils or the air that is, is very, very little air is reaching the coils because it's an incredibly harsh, hot hit for me. I've tried raising the coil up, that helps a lot, but then your coils sit ridiculously high over the deck. The posts will be down here and your coils will be up here. So that doesn't really make any sense to me. So I don't quite understand. When I was on the Namber Juice group, I posted my first impressions there and Omboy OC suggested to me that he starts with the bottom air flows and then as his wicks start to gunk up and stuff, he switches to the top airflows but to me that makes absolutely no sense and it doesn't seem to actually work because the turbulence is unacceptable there is just baffling like crazy <coughs> it almost feels like I got a dry hit there which I didn't as you can see my wicks are still nice and wet still producing lots of vapor all right y'all I'm done with that AFC cap I can't even stand it That last hit was the snake bite airflow. Beautifully smooth, beautiful flavor, same airflow as on the original recoils. And one of my last cons is that once you install the Ultim ring, it is really difficult to get out. I have a lot of trouble getting the Ultim ring out without having to like pry it out with my tweezers. It's just the coils and the wicks make it really difficult for me to get it out. And that just might be me. But for me, it's really hard to get the Ultim ring out once it's in. Here's my conclusion. Would I buy this again? Probably not. The only setting that I enjoy in the AFC ring is two holes open or one hole open sometimes, but the top two airflow holes just don't make any sense to me because they don't hit the coil. Homeboy OC and I had an exchange with an amber juice group where he said that it does indeed affect the coils, but through my testing, I don't see that being the case. So the top airflow holes to me make no sense at all. And as such, I don't like the AFC cap, which leaves me with the snake bite cap. And if I'm only using the snake, snake bite cap, I might as well go with an original recoil. You can find the original recoil on recoilrda.com right now for $30. I do believe they're out of stock, but you can find it for $30 and at $30, that is a steal. So if you don't have the original recoil and you wanna spend the $60 to get the newer product, then absolutely go ahead and buy this. You're gonna get the same nice snake bite airflow. But if you don't have $60 or you don't wanna spend $60, go get the original recoil for $30 on Recoil RDA. Again, I'd like to reiterate that despite all my aggressive negative feedback on this review, it's nothing personal against Grim Green or Omboy OC. I love those guys to death and I feel really guilty about reaching this verdict because I really, really wanted to like this product. It's really tough for me to come out and give this as a bad review, especially as a new reviewer, because it I don't want to piss off the wrong people, but I have to give my, my correct impressions. I have to give my honest impressions. Otherwise, I am absolutely worthless to the YouTube vaping community. That about wraps it up. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe down below if you did enjoy this video. If you didn't, please comment below and tell me how I could do better. Thank you very much. Demo, signing off.